Altogether, 191 members and 141 alternate members of the CPC Central Committee attended the meeting, with members of the Central Commission for Discipline Inspection and leading officials of related departments present as non-voting delegates. First on the agenda was the confirmation that the 19th National Congress of the CPC will be convened from October the 18th in Beijing. Members of the 18th Central Committee then move on to discuss drafts for three key documents, which will be sent to the 19th National Congress for examination and deliberation. They are a report by the 18th Central Committee, a work report of the CPC Central Commission for Discipline Inspection, as well as an amendment to the CPC Constitution. All three were discussed and approved. The report by Central Committee is drafted by Political Bureau of the CPC and delivered by General Secretary Xi Jinping, also a member of the Politburo Standing Committee. The Politburo oversees the CPC's work nationally. The second document is the long-anticipated work report from the Discipline Inspection Commission, which includes the achievements of China's anti-corruption campaign and a list of 11 new alternate Central Commissioners. The draft amendment to the CPC Constitution is explained by Liu Yingshan, a member of the Standing Committee of Politburo. This will be the 17th amendment to the Constitution. The seventh and last plenary session of the 18th CPC Central Committee reflects on the party's work in the past five years and sets the tone for a successful 19th CPC National Congress. Ma Ke, CGTN.